Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Rising Believe Me. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about all of the brand new Neo Remasters and the Neo Collection, which is on the PS5. So, what we're going to be talking about is the regular Neo Remaster, the Complete Edition, the Neo 2 Remaster, the Complete Edition, and the Neo Collection, which is exclusive to just the PS5 and what all that entails and what all that is going to include. So these come out February 5th, 2021. So first quarter of next year, which is pretty cool. So we can start there with the release dates, but let's just go over each iteration and then end off on the Neo Collection and what that's all going to include and whether or not which one is technically right for you. If you already own one of these, what you should really be shooting for and if the price tags are technically better for you, and if you own a PS5, because you can actually end up getting some kind of cross-gen bundle type of stuff that you could get anyways. But let's go down here with Neo Remastered. So this is the regular Neo game with all of its complete DLC. So all the DLC for the game, and it is supported on the PS5. So this is the PS5 version, but you can also get this on the PS4 with the PS4 actually having it right now knocked down at $25, so half off, and the regular just Neo game right now is at $10, pretty much through all of December for this deal, but the complete edition actually ending the day after this video is going to be uploaded, so if you're seeing this right away, you should definitely go on it if you're just trying to get the complete edition for the game um, on the PS4, it's technically cheaper. However, on the PS5, this is 50 bucks. Now, you should only do this if you do not have Neo 2, or if you already have Neo 2, I mean. If you already have Neo 2, then maybe this is the right way to go for you. If not, don't actually go for this. But let's just talk about what we have here if you do get this game on the PS5. So you are going to be running it at 120 frames. If you do have, when it says right here, gameplay of 120 frames requires a compatible monitor that can support this feature, show basically what you need to have is you need to be able to have a monitor with the refresh rate that's going to actually support the 120 frames if you can't do that this game is going to be jumping to that which compared to the ps4 is double the amount of frame rate plus you get the ultra fast load times which this game i don't think typically had super long load times i think a couple at the very beginning of the game but nothing too drastic later in the game which you can also import the neo 2 save data from your ps4 and resume it back on your ps5 so the reasons why you'd want to have this version, just the Neo Remaster Collection, is if you don't have Neo 2 at all. You can play the original Neo with all of its DLC at 120 frames, given you have a monitor that can support that with ultra fast load times because of the SSD that is going to be in the PS5. You're getting extra frames and a faster load time. Technically, there is actually no graphical improvements from what I can see and from the information that we have been given here. There are no actual graphical improvements. However, you could probably try and play this on a 4K TV with the PS5, which could try and get it to be somewhere along that. Another thing I'm gonna add here, and this kind of goes with everything, there is going to be cross-gen multiplayer as well. So I thought I would toss that in. And this is a $50 purchase, which is cheaper than the bundled $70 purchase for both of the games. You are technically getting this for cheaper, but like I said, only do this if you actually already have the Neo 2 Remastered Complete Edition. When it comes to this Neo Remastered, it does have the um, vibration function and the trigger effect required, which means you are getting that haptic feedback for the PS5 version. You are technically getting some different sort of stuff going on with the haptic feedback. The only reason I would say this is actually considered to be a remastered is because of the higher frame rate and the fact that you might be able to stretch out to 4K, but it's not actually a true 4K resolution that they are using for this. You're sort of just emulating it on the PS5 and having the faster load times. Take with that what you will in terms of an actual remaster, but that's basically all we're getting here. And it's similar to what we're actually getting here with the Neo 2 Remastered. We're pretty much getting the exact same thing. You're getting Neo 2 with all of its DLC for 50 bucks with some new features like the vibration function and the haptic feedback on the triggers. And like I've said before, with the other ones, you are getting that 120 frames. You're getting the cross-gen multiplayer. You're getting the faster load times because of that and you can also import your save data from the ps4 onto the ps5 and play neo 2 and yes have the monitor that can support that as well and this is coming out at the exact same time might also add that the original just neo 2 game without all of the extra stuff is 25 dollars that ends like i said the day after this video comes out and the deluxe edition on the ps4 is also discounted as well 
this being sort of strange you have the neo 2 deluxe digital deluxe edition and you're getting also the neo 2 remastered edition which i think is one that is a cross-gen bundle um potentially if you get that because it's not being sold at all here so you might be able just to get this neo 2 digital deluxe edition and then just play that on the ps5 technically for cheaper however you might not get things like the trigger effects and you might not be getting the possibility to play it in 125 or 120 frames sorry you won't actually be able to get that but your load times will be technically faster because you're using an SSD, but you might not be able to get the 120 frames because you're technically playing it on a PS4 version of the game. I'm not 100% sure, but this Neo 2 Remastered Edition technically has everything for the game, all the stuff that you can want for it. So take it with that what you will if you want to try and just get the Digital Deluxe Edition, which is only $5 cheaper, but technically it's a whole $60 worth still on the PS4 because of that. But yeah, this is probably a safer bet to go with. And the PS5 version, I think they've probably done some things. Like I said, with the vibrate function and the trigger effects, they've probably done some things to technically make the game better and give it higher frame rate. So this is definitely worth it, I would say, with the extra five bucks. But let's get on to the big bad boy. <laughs> so the Neo Collection. So this is what you want to have if you don't have the DLCs for Neo 1 or Neo 2, or if you're actually missing one of the games. If you already own Neo 1 and Neo 2, just maybe buy the DLCs for them and then play those games backwards compatible on the PS5 for the extra load times. It's not going to matter that much. However, like I said, if you don't have one of the games, you actually end up getting a better price tag for buying this $70 version. This comes with Neo 1 and Neo 2 with all the DLC for both of the games. Getting that 120 FPS and getting the faster load times because it's on the PS5 and then the cross-gen multiplayer. This is technically worth it just because of having both of the games with all of its DLCs. You're technically paying 50 bucks for one of these. 50 bucks for the other, but you could just be spending 70 to get them both. So technically, if you need to buy just one of them, you probably would have a better bet on doing this. However, it would be nicer if you could just have one and two both on the PS5 versions, not just the older versions brought with backwards compatibility. You're almost better off just buying the $70 version. So let's say you already have Neo 1 but just the regular PS4 version, you're gonna use that backwards compatible on the PS5. You could do that, but you might be limited a little bit. So you might just think, oh, I'll just buy the Neo 2 Remastered Edition for the PS5 when I get that and then play a backwards compatible version of Neo 1, which you could do something like that. But if you're willing to spend just that extra bit of cash, you could get both of the games on the PS5, the technical PS5 versions, which are set to run at 120 frames. So if you want the most definitive version of the Neo, you know, sort of duality, I guess you could say, this is the definite route for you to go for. It is 70 bucks, but you're getting two games, which isn't pretty bad. And they're trying to say that each one is technically worth 50. So you are saving an extra $30 worth of value is where they are putting this at. If you're kind of trying to consider that both of them together would be 100 if you bought them separate. Technically, this is an extra $30 value that you technically would be getting buying it this way. So that's something to think about. And if you don't have the DLCs for Neo 1 or Neo 2, you're definitely losing money if you have one of just the regular versions of the games and you're trying to buy the DLC for it. You technically are saving money if you just buy the Neo collection because it already includes all of the DLC in there already. It's already the definitive remastered editions. You're getting Neo 1 remastered and Neo 2 remastered, so you're getting all of the DLCs. So this is definitely the right route to go. You're getting on the PS5, better load times, better frames, and you're getting the haptic triggers and the haptic feedback, which is pretty cool. And from what I hear, one of the best features on the PS5. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. The vibration function, I could see that being a thing. Maybe you get hit by an enemy, depending on what you get hit by. It sort of changes the vibration function to be differently. It's more like the Nintendo Switch's Joy-Cons in terms of how cool and different responsive the vibration feedback is in this controller. And the haptic triggers sort of having extra different resistances depending on what kind of thing you're doing. Like a gas pedal, you have a little bit of resistance. Maybe something like a trigger, you have a little bit of resistance, but then once it pulls completely down, it like shoots like a gun and vibrates. 
which is a pretty cool concept. This game could be pretty cool to see. I'm kind of curious to see how they do this. I know Demon Souls already has this, so I'm sure it's going to be something similar to what Demon Souls has compared to this game because they are somewhat similar. Don't kill me for saying that, but they are similar aspects. But hopefully this video helped you out, guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.